Can you imagine this amazing turkey over your table? It's delicious, tender, juicy, and so easy to make. Only three ingredients to have the perfect turkey on your dinner. Welcome to mi casa, que es tu casa. I'm so glad to have you here. We're cooking turkey today, pavo. This is for Christmas or Thanksgiving. You're gonna love it. It's so easy to make. I usually make this recipe with chicken and we just love it at home. And you can add some Mexican twist. I'm gonna show you how easy, fast. So let's begin. The secret for the best turkey is for sure the marinade. So I'm gonna use one cup of mustard. Yes, the same mustard that you're using for your hot dogs, your hamburgers, the one that you have at home. I told you that you don't need to go to the supermarket to get stuff with this recipe. I have one cup of water over here, plain water. I'm adding also one quarter of vinegar. It can be apple vinegar, it can be white vinegar. And actually, if you want to use wine, you can use white wine half a cup of white wine. I'm adding five garlic cloves. I'm also adding one spoon of table salt or you can use kosher salt to the preference of your salt. I'm adding a teaspoon of pepper and that's it. That's our marinade and I know it looks easy but you have no idea how tasty this is. Now let's mix it all together. I'm gonna give you this recipe step by step for the people that has never cooked a turkey. It's really easy, it's just a big chicken that you can sometimes feel afraid because it's so big, it's like you don't know where to begin. Don't worry, this is easy. The first step, just take it off of the package and the turkey usually has like the, some of the, like the neck and the intestines inside this cave. So just take it off, rinse it all over and after that just dry it with a, with a, um, with a napkin and that's it. You are all set to cook this turkey. We have the amazing marinade over here and I'm gonna show you my secret for the perfect marinade. I'm gonna separate the skin with a spoon, just go little by little and try to reach as far as you can. Try not to break the skin and just try to reach the legs, a little from the legs, a little all over the chest and try to go as far as you can because we're gonna push the marinade inside of the skin as well as outside. Now, if your turkey is frozen, just leave, uh, take it off the freezer three days before you're cooking it and just put it in the refrigerator. Leave it there for three days and just before cooking, just take it one hour before you cook it so you can so you can have it all like on the same temperature that will make it easier to go into the oven. So this is all set and I'm ready to add my marinade. So we're gonna be adding our marinade little by little and just make sure that all the garlics just became like juice inside of this. Let's begin marinating this turkey. I just put my turkey inside one of these bags that are specially made to go into the oven actually to cook turkeys. I love them to marinate my turkeys because they, they don't make a mess. You can just put it like this in, the, in, the, in your fridge and it won't take like that much space. And especially during Christmas and Thanksgiving that the fridge is usually full, you need that space. So I'm just gonna put my marinade inside and look how it goes. It goes down and we're gonna push it all the way through the turkey, try to reach as far as we can. And as you can see, uh, this, is, this is actually helping us as it, if it was a bag to keep the marinade inside ready. So now let's push it all the way down as far as we can. And let's add some of this really good marinade inside the legs. There we go. I'm just gonna push it with a spoon to go into the legs. Down. And this also help you to get a great color inside the turkey and get the, most of the fat is, inside, is in the skin. So it actually mix with the marinade when you're cooking it and it gives such a special flavor when you make this. After you have pushed all the marinade all over your turkey, now we're just gonna rinse it on top of it and look at this. We're gonna put it in the fridge and just make sure that every time you open the fridge for something, just turn it over, turn it over, turn it over so we can have the marinade 
all over this turkey and look at the color it already looks delicious and it's not cooked ready okay so now let's put this to marinate in spanish we say matar dos pájaros de un tiro kill two birds with one shot so that's what i'm gonna do i'm gonna make this but also i'm gonna have a side dish ready with my turkey all i did was to put some sweet potato camote some onion and potatoes in here I'm adding just about three spoons of olive oil. You can add as much as you want of the vegetables. Just put on top some salt, add some salt, add some pepper, and there you go. You will have a an special and amazing side dish ready because this is gonna cook with the juices of the turkey. So imagine how good this is gonna be. If you're brave enough and like spicy, add some jalapenos, just like that. Cut the tail and add the jalapenos just watch them, add them there and it's going to give it an amazing taste and it looks so beautiful. So my turkey is ready and now we're going to put it on top of our potatoes. Okay, so there we go. Just put your turkey on top of all of this and look. Uh -huh. Ready, ready, ready. Now the next step, I'm going to take the marinade that I have over here. Uh, but first, you know what? We're going to put like, if you have the, the wings, we're going to just stick them Tuck them in just underneath the turkey. Uh, ha, ha. This one doesn't want to be tucked. There we go. I have one. Let's go for the next one. There we go. This is all set. And now I'm just going to rinse it with the marinade that I have here. But before that, if you have enough marinade, we're gonna do, it. this is optional. I mean, if you leave it marinating for a whole night, you actually don't need this that much. I never have trouble with my turkey. They are always tender and juicy, but many people like to inject the turkey with some of the marinade. So that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna inject our turkey with the marinade. Now inject your turkey all over. Remember, we're gonna make a juicy, juicy, look how it punches. <laughs> as much as you want. Now, the last step is just to stick together the two legs of the turkey. This one it already has them all together with part of the skin of the turkey, but if you don't have it, just use a, a little lace and just stick them together and so you can have a beautiful turkey. And now we're gonna put on top half of the marinade. Just please save a little of the marinade so we can be added, like we can add another part of the marinade later. So now let's rinse our turkey with this delicious marinade. Doesn't it look amazing and it's gonna taste much better. Now it goes into the oven at 350 Fahrenheit. That's about 160 degrees. And you're gonna put it in there for every pound. That's about 500 grams. You are gonna leave it in the oven for 30 minutes. So this is about 12 pounds. And I'm just gonna calculate to leave it in the oven for 30 minutes per each pound or per each 500 grams. After 30 minutes in the oven, I'm gonna take it off and I'm gonna rinse it with three cups of water. That juice is gonna help us to keep on rinsing it every 30 minutes. Every 30 minutes, just take it off the oven, rinse it with the juice that we have over here and put it back. Mine is 50, 15 pounds, so it, that means that it's gonna be cooked for every pound or 400 grams, about 13 minutes. So after that, every 30 minutes, I'm gonna take it off, I'm gonna rinse it and put it back. When I have one hour and 20 minutes left, I'm gonna take it off and I'm gonna cover it with foil so we don't have all the dry skin on top, all right? Let's go back to the oven. Remember to take off your turkey every 30 minutes and rinse it, rinse it, rinse it, rinse it. That is gonna keep it with the flavor all juicy. And look, mine has been in the oven for an hour and a half and this is the advantage of taking it every 30 minutes that you can check how is it doing. And I'm looking that at some parts my turkey is, are getting, is already getting brown. So I don't want that. I just want to get that at the very end. So I'm gonna put the foil paper already. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use some of the marinade that we have left to cover it again, because we wanna make sure that this turkey comes out in an amazing color and flavor. So just marinate it again and we're gonna we're gonna cover it with foil. When you put the foil, just make sure that it's not like too sticky to the skin because we wanna save that skin. So just put it a little loose. 
so it won't push the skin on top of the foil. And remember, the tiny part goes outside, outside the side of the foot. So the part that doesn't shine, this is the one that has to be in contact with the foot. Okay? All right, so I'm gonna just cover it well, and this goes back into the oven. Many people use a thermo uh, thermometer to check on the, oh, uh, if it is ready or not. I don't have one of those. I usually make it through the time. And also, a great idea is just check if the, if the skin uh, is separated from the bone in the, in the uh, how do you call them? In las patas, <laughs> the turkey, you just, in the leg, you can just find out that this is ready. So let's go back into the oven. I believe mine is gonna be there for about another hour. At the end, my turkey stay in the oven for about five hours. How do I know that this is ready? Because I could see that the leg separated from the skin a little, and I just I just put a knife and, and try to see the try to see the meat, and it looks cooked. There is no more like blood coming out or anything. And now what I'm doing is just putting a little more of our marinade all over on the top, and this is going back into the oven without the foil for about mm, five to ten minutes just to get that brown color in the skin. It looks just like out of a magazine, doesn't it? It's amazing, it smells great. I'm sure it's gonna taste even better and it's gonna look amazing over your table. One last trick, I have some olive oil. You can do this also with melted butter and I'm just covering just a little to have the special color on top and we are all set to have a magnificent dinner. Please check out my other recipes. I have a special Mexican potato cake with poblano, with cream, with corn that you have no idea will be amazing with this. And I also have another recipe for our special Mexican rice that you also gonna love. I have some spaghetti, I have the potatoes and I hope you guys enjoy. I love to see the photos of the things that you make with my recipes. Please share them on Facebook as a Spicy Latina Mom and I see you soon with more healthy recipes here. Thanks and lots of blessings on these holidays.